During World War II, Germany, the United States, and other countries made varying degrees of progress in the development of night vision devices. Especially, Germany took the lead in using night vision devices in actual combat and exploring related tactics, achieving certain success. However, the Soviet Union during World War II was also at the forefront of night vision technology, and specific technological developments began before the war. Like other countries, the Soviet Union at that time also developed active infrared night vision devices. After the outbreak of the Great Patriotic War, the Soviet Army urgently needed a night vision device to assist trucks, tanks, and other vehicles in night marches. Compared to daytime marches, night marches without searchlight support and with the loss of air superiority were simply targets. The headlights of the vehicles turned on were the best targets for enemy aircraft, and the target position could be determined from a distance. There is very little detailed and systematic information about the Soviet Union's night vision devices during World War II. Some designers of these devices are unknown. This is not due to a lack of information, but rather because many archives still need to be discovered and organized. Moreover, Soviet night vision devices themselves are very rare equipment, and very few people pay attention to them. At that time, the Soviet Union's night vision devices were limited by technology and their own positioning. Their visual range was very short, only a few tens of meters. The size of the infrared lamps used was small, and a filter lens only allowed invisible infrared light to pass through the naked eye. Most of the imaging devices were head-mounted. Night vision devices can be roughly divided into two types. One is the model used by drivers, and the other is the model used by individual soldiers. The model used by drivers can be further divided into two types. One is for tank drivers, and the other is a version tested on Gaz ZZ cars. Before the outbreak of the Great Patriotic War, the Soviet Union had already tested night vision devices on the BT-7 fast tank. Ship and Dudka were early models. Dudka was a relatively mature upgraded version, which was experimented with in the late 1940s and early 1941. However, it still had poor reliability and the entire set of equipment was bulky, with the lens worn by soldiers alone weighing 750 grams. After Dudka came Prism, which was a night vision device developed for the T-34 medium tank. The driver had a set of devices similar to binoculars for visual observation. This set of devices was powered by batteries, and the infrared lamps could provide both conventional visible light and infrared light. The lamps were powered by the tank's battery and could continuously illuminate for 25 hours. The night vision device tested on the Gaz ZZ car had a basic structure similar to that of a tank. The driver had a pair of binocular observation devices, and a 250-watt high-power lamp was installed on the top of the driver's cab. The night vision distance of this set of equipment was only about 30 meters, but it was enough for the driver to travel at a speed of about 20 kilometers per hour. The individual soldier version of the night vision device was more compact in structure. It was mainly designed for reconnaissance soldiers to facilitate their nighttime operations. A 12-15-watt infrared lamp was hung on the soldier's chest, and a heavy battery was hung on the back. Although this set of equipment weighed less than 10 kilograms, it was still a burden for soldiers. Throughout World War II, the Soviet Union did not mass-produce night vision devices. On the one hand, the war affected research and development work, and on the other hand, these night vision devices themselves had poor reliability and short visual range. They were inferior to the mature equipment deployed by the German army in the later stages of the war. However, the Soviet Union did conduct small-scale testing. It is said that the Black Sea Fleet received some equipment for testing in 1941, and during the Battle of Stalingrad, two tank brigades obtained some night vision devices, possibly for field testing. In addition to the above types, the Soviet Union also attempted to install night vision devices on aircraft before and during World War II to improve the night vision of the crew. There were also ideas to equip light weapons with night vision devices. These technological accumulations laid the technical foundation for the development of Soviet post-war night vision devices.